Take me away from home Show me all the places I've never known I will chase the night Race all of these broken dreams in flight And we'll fly Gingerbread and Jelly Bean, welcome back to an episode of J Vlogs. I know I've been absent for a while. I know I've been focused on working, saving, paying my bills, all those stuff, the important adult stuff. And I've said that before in the video. And yeah, I'm still doing that. But I had an idea and I said, let me come and share it with you, all of you guys. So thanks everybody that tuned into the channel. Thanks for you know sticking around. Thanks for watching the videos continuously. And just thanks for being here. So um, welcome to all the new ginger bread and jelly bean to the channel. I'm still here. I'm still alive I'm still making video. I'm just caught up with real life You know situations and I'm taking care of them However, I have a really nice video for you today So this video is so basically anybody that goes to Jamaica on a regular basis are going to Jamaica for the first time and Consider these things or never knew about these things before this will basically help you to save some money literally so it's basically you know traveling information for you to like things that you need to know when you get there in Jamaica so this is basically um, five things that are cheaper in Jamaica compared to America Canada and the United Kingdom why I select these countries is because these are the countries that people like majority of the tourists or tourism that we get come from America Canada and the United Kingdom because they're closer to us and all of them are like first world countries and we have um, a Jamaican diaspora there like a lot of Jamaican people there the culture is um, is known in these countries because of our history and how close we are and they are English speaking countries as well so it's easier to understand compared to Central America or South America where they speak Spanish um, Portuguese and other languages uh, so yes the first thing that I look at is is dental like dental services in Jamaica is far cheaper compared to America Canada and the United Kingdom even though these countries um, relatively have universal health care well Canada has it and England um, have it America do have universal health care so the cost to do medical procedures in the United States is far more expensive because most of it is for profit and not really for the people and um, Canada is not so bad it is covered um, England as well I don't really know much about the English system um, as I do the American and the Jamaican system in Jamaica you can get your teeth clean like a regular dental um, um, dentist checkup um, basically clean your teeth that's a regular clean and stuff anywhere from four thousand to six thousand Jamaican dollars and when you convert it so if you watch my conversion video you realize the conversion rate you'll teach about conversion rate in Jamaica so presently one American dollar is 125 Jamaican dollars and I've explained this in the videos before so you'll see an annotation where the video link will come up so you can go to that um, exchange rate conversion video and watch it so you can better understand the currency if not you can google it so 4,600 or 6,000 Jamaican dollar is roughly around 50 dollar US so around 50 to 60 dollar US you can get your teeth clean examined clean fresh teeth fresh to death you don't know get your teeth clean in Jamaica compare that to America and probably England and Canada in America to get your teeth clean for the first time to see the dentist oh lord it is the cheapest so far that I've um, well I'll be getting mine done as well is a hundred and seventy five US dollars so it is three times the amount in Jamaica so 
you see right there and if you check the rates in other country you'll see that it's 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 far greater than jamaica so if you're interested in getting your teeth done or teeth clean or getting teeth removed jamaica is a very good option it's um they're very professional um the standard of care is on par with the rest of the world um you can go there and get your teeth clean get your uh, good job done for far cheaper the next thing that we look at is hairstyle the hairstyles hairstyle as in hair um for female and hair for male i know it's um a lot of people like to get that done getting their hair done um to come on uh on vacation in jamaica to basically come on um from america england or wherever getting their hair done in these countries are far more expensive compared to jamaican rates so a regular sewing by my sister um i'll advertise her her, her Put her um, in the in the clip. So a regular sewing for her is three thousand five hundred Jamaican dollars. So that's roughly um, twenty five US dollars braid and up eighteen hundred dollars and up. That's one thousand eight hundred Jamaican up. That's like probably say eighteen dollar um, US dollars. Relax and treat her here two hundred dollars and up shampoo and set fifteen hundred and up and shampoo and style for kids two thousand. Short wigs, two thousand dollars to crochet your hair, three thousand five hundred make and cut and curl your hair, two thousand five hundred. I know a lot of people in the United States and Canada, you know, do hair on the side, and it is, um, you know, far cheaper than like going to, um, say a hairdresser. Okay, I know this person, the person do have a shop, I have to pay for all of these things. So to basically get your hair done there is far far cheaper. Now let's compare that same price to um, the American price. In America, to crochet your hair is anywhere from eighty to 100, 120 US dollars. To curl, it's forty-five. To sewing, eighty to one hundred and twenty US dollars. To medium braid your hair, one hundred and twenty to one hundred and eighty um, dollars. So you can see by that comparison that is far cheaper to do your hair as a female in Jamaica. Those braids can last you up to a month or two months depending on how often you do your hair or how often you go to Jamaica. Um, but if you just want to fix up yourself or just want a cute hairstyle, you can get it done in Jamaica for cheap and have that for a little while. Now for men, to basically cut your hair in Jamaica is roughly um, $600 or 500 Jamaican dollars and that's roughly like 5 US dollars. In the United States, to basically cut your hair, I'm paying twenty dollars right now, so that's four times the amount that I would be paying in Jamaica. Um, other barbers in Jamaica charge like six hundred to twelve hundred dollars to cut your hair. In America, it goes from like fifteen dollars up to our thirty, forty, fifty dollars, depending on where you are, depending on your location. So the cost to do this stuff, to groom yourself, to take care of yourself, is far cheaper in Jamaica compared to these countries. Um, even in England, my friend, to cut his hair, I think it's twenty pounds as well, or fifteen pounds as well. So take that into consideration. Now the cost of college in Jamaica is far cheaper um, per annum. So you're doing a nursing course um, per annum for Jamaicans. It's basically to do your nursing bachelor's. It's five thousand US per annum, and if you check that up, um, that's around four years of college. That's twenty thousand dollars compared to America. That's going to cost you around anywhere from thirty to forty, probably fifty thousand dollars, to basically get the same bachelor's degree, the same thing that you're doing, um, nursing post um, RN for Jamaicans. That's per annum one point four. Um, 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 for exchange students, that's one point four. Um, million Jamaican dollars um, per annum so that's roughly 12,000 US per annum so you can compare to do an animation degree um, per annum it is 6,500 US dollars to do animation degree in Jamaica per annum so you see the difference where that is concerned education in Jamaica is far cheaper I think the reason why because it's probably subsidized by the government to a certain extent However, exchange students will pay a greater amount, but compare that to education in other countries, people are going to tell you, listen, I have a $120,000 school fee to pay back and they only went to college for four years. So it's quadrupled the amount that you have to pay basically to get an education in these first world countries compared to the same education 
that you're going to get in Jamaica the same bachelor's degree the same programs um, that you do when I um, went to college my first year tuition was two hundred thousand dollars that's like two thousand US for first year second year I think it was two two hundred and fifty thousand so that's like two thousand five hundred US third year was three hundred thousand that's um, three thousand and then last year was like half a million Jamaican dollar half a million Jamaican dollars like five thousand US so I roughly would pay like one point something million for my four year education that's like ten thousand um us dollars so you see the comparison where that is concerned Edu college education in jamaica is far cheaper no taxi and buses um this is routine everybody take taxi everybody well almost everybody take taxi buses in jamaica to take public transportation like state run um jutc buses it's a hundred dollar per passenger per adult a hundred dollar per adult take you from one destination to the next destination in New York to take the bus from one destination to the next destination whatever your stop is is going to be two dollar seventy five so one US dollar is a hundred and twenty Jamaican dollars so if we're paying a hundred Jamaican dollars you're paying basically um in US dollars it would be like three hundred dollars for that same bus ride um basically in in jamaica so if you're paying 275 for the bus ride in jamaica you're paying um a hundred dollars so you save literally one dollar seventy five if you um convert the risk um for taxi um it's the same thing a hundred dollars on a taxi for uber take you from point a to point b like a short distance like half a mile that's anywhere from four to five to six to seven dollars in certain areas um Certain areas do have the public transportation. In Philadelphia, the public transportation, like the bus ride, is two dollar, I think twenty, or two dollar twenty five on the bus. So it's cheaper than New York, and it's similar around the, the country in the United States. And the next thing that we look at is concert in Jamaica. Concert, they are cheaper, anywhere from one thousand, which is probably around ten dollar US to. 3500 to get you into a party um, compared to America you can get into a party anywhere from probably $20 upwards to $60, $70 for a party um, so it is far cheaper to go to concert in Jamaica especially if you're traveling from overseas and you want to go to party and you want to like spend your money and get you know value for your money then you can actually go to these parties and you know pay to get in enjoy yourself buying alcohol and food and all these stuff and enjoy yourself so that's just a little comparison with um all of these things um you can also translate these things to the um british or or canadian you know but it's far cheaper in jamaica when you make the comparison for these parties um for taxi for hairstyle for dental care and for college so I hope this video really helps um, you to better understand that you can get these things done cheaper and many more things but I was looking at that five um, to basically help you when you travel to Jamaica so a lot of people travel to Jamaica and you're looking for these information so that will basically help you so if you want to get your hair done you know a nice shape up and stuff like that you can get it done there um, no problem no issues at all once you have your money you get your stuff done boom 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 and you're good so I just want to end the video by saying thanks for watching JVlogs, thanks for tuning into the channel. I know I'm a bit rusty, I know I might be all over the place with this video, but just bear with me, trying to get information across, you know, as best as I can. So thanks for watching JVlogs again, thank you guys for supporting me, and I wish you all the best. We're gone.